in my never-ending quest to find a decent handheld scanner, I give you the Mole. It's made by 3D Maker Pro, the same guys that make the Whale, much more manageable, costs about $330. Let's scan some stuff with it and see how it performs. My name is Eric Stribble. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. Alfred backpack hanger in stainless steel and aluminum designed by me holds your backpack, lets you charge your phone, holds your keys, super versatile. So I'm packing up some here that were recently sold. Thanks for those of you who've purchased recently. It really helps support the channel. MFG.com has a database of thousands of custom parts manufacturers around the world, mainly specializing in plastic and metal. Their most common forms of manufacturing are CNC machining, fabrication, injection molding, and sheet metal. Buyers can submit a request for quote to get quotes for any of their parts for manufacturing. RFQs receive an average of four quotes from U.S. manufacturers, and the MFG team is available to help along the way, available to assist in finding the right manufacturer. Perfect size. It's like it's meant. It's meant for that sticker. It comes in a really nice water sealed case, and it even has these little security buttons on the latches so that you can't accidentally open up the case without pushing on the little thumb depressors first. These are the contents of the case. There's the top for the turntable. Comes with various plugs to power the mole with this is the proprietary connector comes with usb terrible uh micro usb for the turntable also terrible all this stuff should be usb c uh software comes on standard usb again terrible that's the power supply allen wrenches and then this is the stand that you can put the mole on if you want to use it with the turntable and then this is the mole itself very nice little handheld units plastic uh, lightweight fits in your hand quite comfortably the software should come with uh, USB-C on the other end I will have to use an adapter which is not included to install the software and then I updated the software beyond what came on the USB stick later let's plug it in and scan one of my rock rooster shoes i've done this in the past uh, shoes are fantastic link in the description below to get your own rock rooster shoes they're fantastic footwear now you can see me looking at the shoe pointing the scanner and then looking at the screen it just drives me nuts that something like this in this day and age is this is the how you scan look in one direction scan in the other it makes no sense you can see the tracking is quite good here if it loses tracking you go back a little bit, it picks it up quite well, and it doesn't take much to scan the object. Once it's processed the data, this is what you get. This is pretty good. Look at that detail. I'm, I'm very pleased with this. Very comparable to the much more expensive whale. Now, for the super lazy people out there, and if you want to automate something, let's try to scan this Rock Rooster shoe on the turntable and see if that works. I want to try out the tripod here as well. So a tiny little thumb screw on the bottom. Awkward to get it to angle. And here I'm kind of fiddling with it. It doesn't really fit on my table. I'm having a tough time already. And the, the little tripod, I, I'm not crazy about it. It's nice, it's metal, and it's a little carbon fiber, fake carbon fiber handle and everything. But the thumb screw on the bottom is just too small to really be useful. And I'm really struggling to, to get things set up here. Now, let me plug in. Oh, you can't plug it in. There's, there's not enough room there, so there's, it's nearly impossible and to tighten the thing up is also very difficult. This kind of stuff 
just frustrates the absolute crap out of me. Technology should not be this difficult. And for somebody to make a design decision about where to put the connector on the bottom of something like this, it is just boggles my mind as a designer. I just cannot even fathom how you would do that and not think through the problem. At this point, I'm, I'm mad, mad as hell. And I just want to chuck the whole thing out the window. This is that kind of stuff is just uncalled for in this day and age. It just boggles my mind. Let's do a scan. It's going to have a tough time. It can't really compensate for depth. This turntable is really suited for something that was, let's say, fit right in the middle of the turntable that was maybe more cylindrical. And you get the data is decent, but it can't capture all the data, the near and the far. I can't comp compensate for that. Let's scan my tried and true thing that I scan in all of my videos. And then this is this little master model iris uh, vehicle here. And it's painted with some speckled paint. And this is what was done in the past to increase the amount of points for things that are scanned. Again here, I'm trying to struggle with this thing being connected on a cable, going 360 around the object, looking at the object, looking at the screen, trying to get it to the right focus distance. It's difficult. Let's process the data and see what we get. This is pretty nice, pretty standard with uh, other scanners uh, that cost a lot more. Uh, I like it. Let's zoom in here a little bit. You'll notice there's a texture that it captures. And I think this is from the speckled paint that I've always used in the past. So I'm going to do a little test. I'm going to spray paint this thing with just a flat gray primer and see if we can't get rid of some of this texture and see if that old way of texturing objects is maybe obsolete with some of this newer scanner technology and hopefully it is quick scan around the object and we'll capture the data again i'm only interested in the data itself i don't care about texture maps and stuff like that if you care about texture maps you have to watch a different video i'm just interested in the raw data this is nice you can see a little shinier lot less texture that was picked up so this scanner doesn't need that texture to do its standard scanning which is nice improvement in technology makes things easier faster better for me i like that So I like this little unit. It's plastic, it feels plastic. You know, you get what you pay for, but the scans that you get out of this are pretty good. They've also made some pretty good advances uh, to the software from when I first started using their software. It gets updated relatively regularly, even on the Mac, uh, and the software works better than it did before. It's able to stitch stuff together. Tracking is really good on this, uh, better than the Revo Point, I feel. And that makes it a better experience all in all. Yeah, there's still things where, you know, these scanners, they all need to come with some sort of a screen built in so you can actually see what you're doing when you're scanning. All right, another shout out to MFG.com, this video sponsor. I actually use MFG.com. They reached out after without even knowing that I use their service and I've used them in the past successfully to source manufacturers for products that I've designed. Here's my thoughts. It's pretty good with the cost. Obviously this connector sticking out the bottom here, terrible design decision. But I think for the price and the quality of the scan that you get, it's pretty good. Now, they are releasing a connect kit that you can basically mount this and then put your phone behind it and actually see what you're scanning. I think that's going to be great. We're going to do that in an upcoming video and that could really make this a very nice compact design tool.
Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications every time I have a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below and on the channel page. Rock on. Don't forget to check out the t-shirts and hoodies in the merch shelf below. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.